right, here we go with the drone video for a beautiful tract of heavily wooded property. This is in northern Arkansas, actually just a few miles um, south of the Missouri state line. So it, northern Arkansas, beautiful area for uh, recreation, white-tailed deer, turkey hunting. This is within just a few miles of the White Ranch uh, conservation area which is several hundred acres, maybe even a thousand acres of, of uh, public land that you can use generally for uh, hunting or, or horseback riding. There's a river that flows through the, the conservation area. Uh, you can fish, you can swim, very cool. And that's all within just a few minutes. So we're, uh, we're looking easterly on the county road. This property actually has direct county road frontage, one of the few tracks out here that does. And it already has a long private driveway that goes way back into the east through the timber and then opens up into a cleared site within the timber. And as we focus down there, we're checking out the start of the driveway. You probably drive to the property in just about any vehicle because there is direct county road frontage. Um, on the left, you can see it kind of a large rock pile that's just from when they open that up it it's not a trash pile there's a couple cans or whatnot but it's a it's a big rock pile so this was probably the driveway was probably cleared three or four months before this video was done i would guess the property had been leased out uh, for hunting and now it's available for sale this video is going to be pretty recent. If it, if it wasn't taken this summer, then it was taken toward the end of last summer. So either way, you get a recent video. There might be a little more greenery out there. Um, like I say, this, this video kind of looks like it was taken fairly recently after that driveway was opened up, just because there's not a lot of, of grass or greenery on that. And couldn't really tell from the drone video, but as you go easterly off the county road, it slopes down uh, fairly gradually. Uh, and then toward the end of the driveway, uh, you've kind of crossed over the, the lower part of the property. And then it starts to, it just starts to slope back up again. And that's when you get to that site. So if you wanted to, you'd have the option of, of moving the site further to the east if you wanted to uh, uh, kind of expand it or, or get uh, potential for a, for a better view, you'd have that option as well. Trees out here are gorgeous. It's mostly hardwood. Now there's the cleared site. For whatever reason, <laughs> uh, even though I'm familiar with this property, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around this, this video. I think we haven't really pulled back far enough for me to get a, a good feel for the angle. <laughs> but that, that is the end of the driveway that we're looking at. That's the cleared site. You could certainly use that for, for camping or potentially to, to, to build subject to the property covenants out here. That site... And check out the ground video as well. That's probably more helpful to see the actual site. It's not uh, completely flat. It slopes up a little bit as you come onto the site, but that's where we mentioned if, if you were to keep going east, extend that driveway to the east, which would really only be probably cutting a few small trees uh, for just a couple hundred feet. It looked like there was a, a large level area and it could be that the site is there just because there was a natural opening that got expanded a little bit and because this was leased for probably deer hunting maybe deer and turkey hunting and because it was leased for that there there is sometimes uh, an old tent or an old cooler or whatnot on a site that's been leased if the people didn't do 
you know, a perfect job cleaning up after themselves. This one appears to look pretty good. Location is phenomenal. It's extremely private, but because you have direct county road frontage, you've got much better access than, than uh, many, many properties. You've already got that long private driveway established, which would save you a substantial amount of time and money versus doing it yourself. Power's in the area. It's not at the property. So if, if power was something you need right away for your campsite or whatnot, then uh, this might not be ideal. Certainly you could do solar. Arkansas is pretty cool about not trying to restrict what you do with solar and not trying to restrict what you do with the rainwater or anything. We tell, uh, tell people in Arkansas about some of the states that do restrict the rainwater and it just doesn't make sense to people in Arkansas and Missouri. They can't even believe that. And that's actually looking down at the start of the easement road at the White Ranch project with the gate there. Uh, but this particular tract, of course, um, you don't have to bother with the easement road. It has direct county road frontage. And that's it for the video. So we get a pretty quick look at that. Check out the ground video as well. But beautiful track, very large, over seven acres. Uh, it is surveyed with the corners marked. It does have the direct county road frontage. And close to West Plains, Missouri. Um, in Arkansas, the closest town, I believe, usable town would be Salem, Arkansas to the south. But fantastic property. Uh, rarely do we get any anything like this with the the driveway, the, the site, the county road frontage, um, the access, the timber, all that good stuff. So have a look. If you have any questions, just let us know.